Cthulhu's Vault. This is the Ultra Pro game you were mm -hmm. alluding to earlier. Yep. Back to the more party side of things, storytelling yes. game. So the way this game works is you start with a card in the center, everyone has their own hand, and they secretly also have an Elder God, which we'll explain how that comes in later. But you'll be telling a story, so maybe the first card will be um, a book, and then whoever's the first player will go like, you received a book in the mail from a dearly departed friend that tells you, you make up this cool story. Mm -hmm. And then you play a card on top and said like, so you go to investigate the library and like... And you're, I guess you could do it however you want. You're doing it like in a second person thing. Our story was about characters that we made up third right. person. Well, their example in the book was talking the second, like okay. that. But well, we, you started us off with, uh, huh. uh, what was our reporter's name? His name was Chet Chippewa. Chet Chippewa. <laughs> this is now official Lovecraft canon. I actually really liked the story that we came no, up with. No, I loved it. And that's actually about this, the thing about why I really, I really love this game was because of that. The storing process of coming up with these cards in the hand and coming up with habit, we came up with this amazing story of this back and forth and hidden cult. He was trying to write an, like a, an article about the corruption in the city and cults were trying to stop him and there were artifacts. And, and then the cool, <laughs> this is more of just a happenstance. Uh, when you play cards, you collect tokens that either have, secretly, they either have Investigation or Cthulhu. And when you play cards, maybe you steal and stuff. You got enough to awaken your Elder God which conveniently was Narlatep, and you want it, got it on the card that f uh, was um, Amigo, Amigo, which apparently served <laughs> Narlatep. So it was a him. perfect story link. Yeah. <laughs> the, and then you hit a second phase. In this phase, everyone who didn't waken becomes an investigator, uh, and you pretty much fight. You get combat cards and fight the other guns, and you still try to tell the story a little, but this is definitely where we think the game peters off a little. Because you sort of like even like I felt bad, but you were just like yeah, I bite. Like you, <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't that I was like bummed about it, but I w I did not feel like making up a story because I was like, well, who cares? I'm I hit you again. I hit you again. <laughs> it wasn't as mm. as ex as uh, interpretive. I guess it was fun. You did win in the end. I did, and <laughs> it was fun to have your little epilogue, like the whole story. Yeah, and so overall, I actually really love the game. Like that first part, though, and since that's the majority of the game including the time spent, that was fun. Yeah, I, I love the idea of it. Like, I think it makes perfect sense. Story phase and then a little battle phase, and it's quick. And I even, like, kind of liked it. No, like, the battle phase wasn't... It's not, to me, it wasn't that the battle phase was terrible. It was just that the it, first phase was, was yeah, like... Yeah, if they could have integrated it a little better somehow, it would have been nice. But overall, I'm, ha I'm really happy I actually got it, and I want to play it again just for that first phase, because to me, that, like... Especially with the group we have, at least most of the people we have in our group, I think are great for storytelling. Yeah, yeah. Purposes. It, it was fun. Yeah, I think it's the perfect amount of mechanics so that it's not just storytelling. Like you, you are right, strategizing a little like bit. Like the way you actually played the cards is, let's say the book was the first one. It'll tell you like you get a bonus if you play this kind of card on top of it. So, so there's actually like I could just do this, but I'll get more things if I play a, a weapon card, which you should mention are just items because some of the weapons, which we learned in our story, <laughs> include a flute, <laughs> yeah. such as Chip Chippewa played his battle flute, which allowed him to run faster. <laughs> the flute let him run faster. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's it doesn't distract from the storytelling at all. It's just a nice little touch. It it puts a like um, a little bit of a structure of, to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So you're not just shuffling and playing a random card. And yeah. that's why I really loved it. Uh, the story we came up with was honestly, I think, it was, I mean, silly because it was random, but overall, actually, it was a... You should write it down. That could, be a, that could be a campaign or something. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, check out Cthulhu's Vault for sure if you like storytelling games. I do have one problem. My one biggest problem with it is yeah. luckily one you will not have to deal with. So <laughs> oh, right. Mine come in this small tin. First of all, I'm not usually a fan of tin cases. I just feel like... I don't yeah. know why they bother me. But it, it's <laughs> really alone. hard to pack. The new box, though, is much bigger. And I think it will fit... And it's probably, not a tin, correct? Yeah, it's a nice, nice big box. I think it will fit everything better. But that's a no small thing. Like, so that's not something that really you should take for granted now because you're probably not going to get this version. It's a moot point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>